Arlington ISD's Board of Trustees meeting on February 22, 2024 is in the books, and I want to brief you on a few of the highlights. If you saw our last meeting, you know the district has a record number of students this year who were named National Merit Semifinalists or received National Hispanic Recognition, National African American Recognition, and National Indigenous Recognition. We started recognizing them in the last meeting, but there were too many to honor in one night. So tonight, we continued where we left off and honored students from Arlington Collegiate, Arlington College and Career, Arlington, Bowie, Sam Houston and Seguin High Schools. After getting to hear from these accomplished students, we had a lot of business to get to. Among our financial items, we approved the monthly financial report on operations and the district's investment activity report through December. We also received a financial update from Carla Martin, Arlington ISD's Assistant Superintendent of Financial Services, on the General Operating Fund, the Capital Outlay Fund, and the Debt Service Fund, and the Food Service Fund as well. In the bond, we approved the budget and general contractor for the additions and renovations projects at Johns, Foster, and Atherton Elementary Schools. Work on those projects should start soon. We also approved the notice of election for an election to fill places one, two, and three on the Arlington ISD Board of Trustees. The election will be on May 4th with early voting April 22nd through April 30th. Finally, Zonda Education presented a demographic report and forecast. We get this every year to help us plan for the future and make informed decisions about attendance zone planning and budgeting. The report included regional economic conditions, enrollment patterns, housing data, Arlington ISD comparisons, and enrollment projections. Those are just a few of the highlights from tonight. If you'd like more details on any of these or any of the items I didn't cover, please click on the link on the screen to watch the entire meeting.